Why don't you put Easter eggs in your product? Funny you should ask that question. We actually put an Easter egg into the Exchange 4.0 POP3 and IMAP servers. And because we wanted to do it right, we designed a spec and we built the feature test plans and everything. And we built the feature and we tested the feature and we shipped the feature out happy in the fact that we were so clever. We built a feature, put an Easter egg in and nobody would notice it until a couple months after we shipped. And then we got an email from some guy by the name of Raymond Chen. He worked at Microsoft. Yeah, the same Raymond Chen. And apparently our Easter egg broke some tooling that he had written for himself that he ran. And all of a sudden, he got broken. And we were sure this Easter egg wouldn't affect anybody. You had to use special magic keywords and stuff, and you'd never ever really do that. Except it turns out somebody did. And that is why you don't ever put an Easter egg in your product, because somebody's going to find it. And they're going to be mad. You just don't want to do that. It's just better not to.